In this video, we shall be discussing on regression. For more of this, you need to subscribe to this channel. This is the model given, and we are asked to obtain B0 and B1. Of course, Y here is the dependent variable. B0 and B1 are the intercepts and slope. Yx is the independent variable, and E is the error term. So how do we obtain B0 and B1? Solution. To obtain B0 and B1, we employ what is called the standard error. That standard error is equal to summation of the error 10 raised to the power of 2. So the next thing to do, since we are given this, we are given Y is equal to B0 plus B1XI plus the error 10. Of course, we can make this the subject. The error term will be equal to y minus b naught minus b1 xi. So all we need to do is to substitute the error term into the standard error. So if we do that, we'll have something like this. The standard error will be equal to summation of the error term which is equal to summation of summation of the whole of this so we have our y b naught minus b1 xi all squared. Meaning our standard error will be summation of yi minus b0 b1 xi all squared. So to maximize or minimize the function, we differentiate and equate to zero. All we need to do here is to differentiate. First, we differentiate with respect to B0. If we differentiate this function with respect to B0, we'll have two summation yi minus B0 minus B1 xi 2 minus 1 times from composite function. We differentiate what is inside that is b naught it gives minus one so the next thing to do is to rearrange this if we write it well before we equate it to zero it will not be negative two summation it implies negative two summation y i minus b naught b one x i equal to zero of course, negative 2 will go with 0 to give us summation of yi b0 minus b1 xi equal to 0. All we need to do is to sum, is to take the sum of all of this. If we take the sum, we'll get something like this. Summation of yi minus if you sum a constant you get n multiplied by that constant also if you sum this you get minus b1 summation of xi equal to zero so we can put this one here over this side to give us n b naught plus b1 summation xi is equal to this will go back to this place to give us summation of yi we can take this as our equation one also we can also take this 
as our equation star because we'll come back to it. Also, to obtain B1, we say from equation star, which is this, we say we differentiate with respect to B1. If we differentiate with respect to B1, we get two summation yi minus b0 minus b1 xi raised to the power of 2 minus 1 multiplied by from composite function we differentiate this function here we are differentiating with respect to b1 so we differentiate this to give us negative xi we come over to this place it implies if we are equating this to zero we get it implies that negative two summation y i minus b naught b one x i two minus one is one of course multiplied by x i equal to zero. Of course, negative 2 will go with 0. So all we have here is to open this bracket. We can write it first as summation of yi minus b0 minus b1 xi xi is equal to 0. So we multiply this first. We have summation xi yi minus b naught x i this multiplied by this minus b1 this x i this x i x i squared we get x i squared which is equal to zero we now take the sum if we take the sum if we sum the whole of this we get something like this summation of x i y i minus b naught summation x i minus b1 summation x i squared is equal to zero we can also write it the way we write our equation one to give us we we'll take this over to this side to give us b naught summation x i plus b1 summation x i squared to be equal to summation x i y i we take this as our equation two so the next thing to do is to combine combine equation one and equation Two. If we combine equation one and equation two, we have something like this: n b naught plus b one summation x i is equal to summation y i. This is our equation one. Also, our equation two is b naught summation x i plus b1 summation x i squared is equal to summation x i y i equation two this is our equation two so for simultaneous equation how do we eliminate one of these we we'll multiply this by saying summation of x i and multiply this by n if we do that if we multiply this by summation x i we get something like n b naught summation x i plus b1 summation 
एक्स आई स्क्वेड पॉसो सॉल्यूशन एक्स आई सॉल्यूशन वाई आई सो वी कैन टेक दिस आस आवर इक्वेशन थ्री then this we are multiplying by n we have n v not summation x i plus n v1 summation x i squared is equal to n summation x i y i we take this as our equation four so the next thing to do we say subtract equation 3 from 4 because if you watch at this and this have something in common so they can cancel so the next thing to do is to subtract equation 3 from equation 4 and if we do that we come over to this side come over here If we subtract equation 3 from equation 4, of course, this and this we go. Then we now have this minus this. So we left with n b1 summation of x i squared minus B1 summation x i all squared will be equal to this minus this. We now have n summation x i y i minus summation x i. summation y i this is what we get so we can bring out b we make b the subject of formula if we make b the subject of formula we have b one which is now the estimate to be equal to n summation x i y i minus summation x i summation y i divided by n summation x i squared minus summation x i all squared so this is our estimates we've already obtained the estimate for b1 this same thing can also be rewritten in another way that means this is also equal to if you want to write it in another format you can write it this way we bring that n and write it like this summation of x i y i minus summation of x i summation y i all over n all over n summation x i squared minus summation x i all squared all over n is still the same thing nothing has changed it's also equal to this b estimate is also equal to this we can write it as summation of x i minus x bar y i minus y bar all over x minus x bar squared x i minus x bar squared summation so our b1 is this our b1 is also this and our b estimate is also this but we also need to estimate b naught for me to estimate b naught, we go over to this point.
For more on this channel, on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel. How do we obtain? How do we obtain our B notes? To obtain our B notes, we we'll recall what we have from equation one. We we'll recall what we have from equation one. We say to obtain B naught, we say from equation one, which is this. This is equation one. We have N B naught plus B1 summation xi is equal to summation yi. When I say divide through, divide through by n. So if we divide through by n, we have something like this n b naught all over n plus b1 summation xi all over n is equal to summation yi all over n. So if we divide the whole of this by n, we'll have here as b naught to b plus b1. Of course, you know summation of x i n is mean, which is equal to summation of y i all over n is also the mean of y. Therefore, our b estimates is equal to y bar minus b1 x bar. So this b1 can also be written as this because it's also our estimate. So our b0 estimate is this. Why our b1 estimate is this. So this is how we can obtain the estimate of B0 and B1 from the linear regression model. For more on this, you need to subscribe to this channel.